The Thal by Claude Monet is a timeless piece of art that holds value in its originality. It is now lost, and so is the soul and essence that comes from the great artist Monet's personal handiwork. A lot of the value attributed to this artwork can be contributed to its artist. Claude Monet was a French artist born on November 14th in the year 1840 in Paris, France. Growing up, he gained a great sense of art from his aunt, who was an amateur artist. He also spent time with local artists to improve his craft from an early age. Eugene Bowden was an artist Monet worked with that introduced Monet to the idea of painting in an outdoor setting. For the most part, paintings of landscapes were done indoors and painted by memory rather than observation. This style of painting is how Monet ended up styling the thaw. This allowed for much more natural element to the painting. He could capture every aspect of the scene in the artwork as he was there witnessing the river as he painted. Monet is sometimes considered the father of Impressionism accentuating ideals of how people saw the natural landscapes around them rather than how they actually looked, which made a lot of his paintings focus on the lighting and different colors used for different aspects of different scenes and different locations that he painted. Each location at any time of day would have a different feeling ascribed to them, as Monet would portray even the same setting differently based on the time of day and season he was painting them in. Many of the Impressionists, including Monet, desired to change the way people thought about art by focusing on these new details in their work. By embracing the Impressionist form, Monet was willing to take on a lot of scrutiny for his style of work. In Paris around this time, art focused on topics relating more to history rather than modern and simple life that the Impressionists embraced. In reality, the Impressionists were very helpful to the historical aspect of artwork because they did not just capture the extravagant forms of history, like mythology or large events but they were capturing everyday life on their canvas to better represent the majority of people. Light even played a large role in their painting styles. It was a way to expose everything because it had an effect on everything. They didn't want to represent the source of light, but the effect of it, which allows for a new perspective on the natural world and everyday life that was being painted. Monet effectively utilizes light in the thaw to shine importance on the more simple parts of the painting that he thinks should carry more significance like the ice flows, and the movement of water. Just to be willing to create work in this style, Monet was taking a big step, embracing scrutiny by art scholars and critics in order to create original work that carried an immense amount of meaning that is personal to him. This allowed for a wide variety of paintings to be made in this impressionist style, very simple works that celebrated everyday aspects of life. He has been considered one of the greatest impressionist artists, and any work by him carries immense value intrinsically and monetarily. The Thaw is a great piece that accentuates different features of the weather, season, and landscape that Monet wanted to capture in the canvas. Monet wanted to capture the motion of the water within a still frame and did so with the ice flows on top of the water. With many of the chunks of ice in the front of the picture and a lesser amount of the ice chunks in the back of the painting, it implies that melting has already occurred in the environment and ice is being carried by the current, implying a sense of motion. The reflection of the trees surrounding the Sin River in this also implies a sense of motion in the painting. They are not a clear reflection like something reflecting off the water, but they are blurry. Blurry reflections on water show movement because the reflection is going to resemble the surface it is reflecting upon. This accentuates the warming up of the surrounding area and is a representation of winter starting to turn to spring, but it is still a harsh winter in the painting. The harshness of the winter is represented by the ice flows and the haziness of the overall scene. Yes, the ice flows are flowing away as they break apart, but for these ice flows to get to this point, first they had to be created in the middle of a large river. This comes with long weeks of freezing temperatures and rough conditions for people surrounding this area. The haziness in this painting is created by loose brushstrokes and reduced colors and changes the way the painting would be looked at if it was made in a detailed way. It is a winter setting, so haziness fits much better than a bright setting that might represent something joyful or possibly a summer scene. Every brushstroke and every hint of color or absence of color plays a huge role in representing the greater area surrounding the Sin River. They greatly represent the cold sense of desolation within the canvas. This feeling of desolation can only be truly found within the original painting, where you can experience this desolation in the same way Monet himself felt it. But this feeling that rides on the same wavelength as Monet is now lost. A print of the painting does not provide the same emotional experience as the original. The original carries an immense value to the people surrounding the sin. These people know the feelings and the mood Monet was trying to convey. This mood is carried within the original painting and only the original painting.
Monet drew a total of 20 paintings of the Seine River. Out of these 20 works, 8 of them resemble the same view of the Seine River. The major difference that comes from these 8 similar views is dependent on the day and time Monet painted each one, which allows for a beautiful contrast between each of the unique but similar works. The main constant between all 8 of these paintings were motivated by the thaw. In each of these works, they are all made compositionally the same way as the thaw, but each of them differ in contrast to each other in mood. This is based on what time of the day, or what day of the year that they were painted. With all of them together, they can be juxtaposed to offer insight on slight details of nature that can be missed as we go through our daily lives. With just the thaw gone from this series of eight different but similar paintings, some of the value of the whole set is lost. In having the original work, we can witness the differences between the works in the original form, but with the loss of the thaw, the original work cannot be related to the overall works as a whole. Not only are these paintings of the sin motivated by the thaw, but they also add motivation towards one of the most iconic series that he ever created, his series of water lilies created in the early 1900s. These paintings act as a precursor to the water lilies he would come to create. In the thaw, it is made with many floating pieces of ice in the background that appear to drift towards the foreground of the painting, creating a sense of motion within the stillness of the painting. This is the same way that Monet created his water lilies paintings, with many lilies in the background that somehow appear to be towards the foreground of the painting. The water lilies series almost seems to look like the paintings of floating ice, but with water lilies that replace the ice flows. They are pretty much the same painting when it comes to style, but in different environments, highlighting unique aspects of each individual environment. Without creating the thaw, there may be less works of art that derive from this. In this precursor to his more iconic paintings, more value can be attached to the original work as a motivator to these future works of art. Finally, a print of the thaw does not contain the same value of the original in this way. A print will only show the environment captured by Monet, but with the original you can experience the captured environment in the exact same way that Monet saw it. The original provides a peek into the mind of Monet that cannot be provided by a print. It is now lost to the World War II, and with it, a piece of Monet's genius mind.